were the boobs? Where was the body? Where was the va 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 boom? Like, where is the? It was giving. Some of them were giving dude. Hey, or should I say hello, hello, hello? Either way, let's just get right into it. You already read the title. You know what we are here to do. First of all, welcome to Nellyville. Happy New Year. Hope you've been great. Good to see you. Let's just get right into the tea because there's a lot to cover. Before we get into the tea of episode one, um, I just have to say, Drag Race is just really, um, she's the pass around show of, of Hollywood TV, isn't she? Yeah, uh, she don't know if she want to be on Paramount. Uh, uh, MTV. She doesn't know if she wants to be with VH1. I mean, one one minute she's over here. Now she's over there. Look over there. Look over there. Where can I watch the show? Good luck signing up to all these different platforms. A lot of queens. I'm not about to go through every single queen. This is the first time that we've had this many queens on the season. I don't know if they're going to be sending home two or three at a time. I don't know if this season is going to take all year. Now, I will say I like what they did with how they introduced the queens. Now, they've been doing this with Drag Race where they introduce half and half in two different episodes. Um, but I like that we didn't have to wait a whole nother week to meet the second group. I like that they introduced both two groups separately so you could kind of really get to know the queens because it's a lot of them to, to try to get to know. Um, but I like the way that they did it quickly. Now, I will say, imagine the guest judge for this week was Ariana Grande. And Ariana Grande did this great reveal. She comes into the work room. So they had so they had Ariana Crump come in uh, as Ornatia. Now, if you don't know who Ornatia is, Ornatia is Drag Race Royalty, honey. But imagine being the group that didn't get to meet Ariana Grande. Now, the second group, their surprise person was Vivacious, um, which is a great honor. Vivacious is drag royalty as well, but I'm sure they were like, really? So the girls had two different challenges that opened up with a photo shoot. One group got sprayed down with water, honey, and the other group got blown away with the wind, and both challenges were um well many challenges were recreations of legendary challenges from way back when throwback seasons of drag race i was happy with that it was cute i liked it it was it it, it was it gave and then for the main for the maxi challenge they had to do they had to put on a talent show i i, got, I thought it was great and also the groups had to work together to come up with an opening number. Now that's really hard. These people who just met each other, they had to work together to come up with something great. And I think considering um, they just met each other and the time crunch and the, and the boop 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 bop bops, I think that they did okay with orchestrating this group number. I think that it was really cute and it was what it was. Now when we got to this talent show, um, some people really gay. Some people, uh baby go back to the drawing board now uh spoiler alert um anitra won the maxi challenge so and i agree with the win anitra came out honey and she was duck walking for days she was giving me old way new way this way her way the duck walk alone it, it gave what needed to be gave it, it really did and not only was she voguing you know, giving a little duck walk moment, but she also threw in a little mixed martial arts. She gave in, gave some kicks. And you know, look, if a queen is gonna come in and proclaim that they are something, cause Anitra came in and said, I'm a stuck queen. Baby, you better give. If you're gonna come in and claim a title, you better give what needs to be gave. And I feel like Anitra did it, I agree with her. Other people who were in the top, you had Jax, and you had Marsha, Marsha, Marsha. Now, Marsha, Marsha, Marsha kind of got red because she's not a heavy makeup queen. I like her. How far do I think she's going to get? I don't know. And then as far as Jax, um, uh, you know, I like We got a lot of young queens this season. We got the twins, which I like their interest, Sugar and Spice. It was the first time in drag history that we had two people walk in at the same time. I like that they are ditzy, but it's like an act. And even though the twins are social media queens, I still think that they're gonna come and they're, they're gonna get what needs to be gay. We got a lot of Connecticut queens. We got a really young cast. Some of my favorites, I like Selena Estides. 
Um, I like her style, I like her energy. She's like, ba -ba -da 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 -da. I like Anitra. Mistress Isabel Brooks. So Mistress, um, she's giving me Houston drag down boots. Also, does anybody know the song that Mistress did? Did Joella Puss make that song for her? Because the song that, that Mistress did, performed at the talent show was, it really sounded like Joella Puss, or am I tripping? Anyways, if you know, leave it in the comment section down below. Lucy Laduca, I don't know. I, I, wasn't she the one who was kind of, she seemed like she 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 might need to, I don't know, she might need to get some thicker skin or something. Like the drag was cute, but baby, get, I'm gonna pull it together, stay focused. Irene ends up going home, and let me just talk about the, the, the bottom two, the lip sync. So we had Irene Dubois, or Dubois, or however you say her name, Irene, and you had Amethyst. The lip sync was a disappointment for me. Now, we all know that the lip sync of Drag Race, be it the top two in All Stars or the bottom two in the regular seasons, like that is like one of the top three reasons that you watch Drag Race. And that lip sync did not, it gave, it gave low energy. It didn't give lip sync for your life. It didn't give fight for your life. And they lip sync to Ariana Grande's seven rings in front of Ariana Grande. Like maybe they were intimidated. Maybe they were shook because it was episode one. I don't know, but both of them, it, you know, it, it was fine. But really, if it ended up being a double sachet, I would, I, I, if he said, both of y'all, bye, I would have been like, okay, I get, I get it. I hated to see Irene go first, but I, I figured, oh, and what I was saying about Marsha, 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 she was getting red for her makeup because she, you know, she just wasn't wearing a, a, a lot of makeup and she looked, there was no transformation. Drag is about a transformation. Marsha, Marsha, Marsha is very cute, very, very twinky, very just doesn't need a lot of makeup, but there needs to be a transformation. So um, I don't know by she being such a young queen. I don't know if Marsha can come back next week and come with a got Mick full face paint or if uh, she's just going to keep trying to do her and hope that the judges don't read her for it. I, guess I agree with the win and the send home results as far as like who do i think is like a top four it's just too early to tell i like to say i would like to see more of the queens wear more body where were the boobs where was the body where was the va 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 boom like where is the it was giving some of them were giving dude it was giving dude irene we we will definitely be seeing more of you sorry that you had to be the first one to go home uh, but you know have fun do you you made a great Great first impression. Oh, she did a water bit for the talent show. She poured a glass of water. Literally, she poured a glass of water. So that's why I didn't talk about the talent and what got her in the bottom. Um, but yeah, Irene, you know, you're very funny. You're very talented. I love your drag. Hope to see more of you. And congratulations to uh, who, who won? And congratulations to Anitra. Uh, watch your back, girl, because the, the girls are going to be gunning for you. But that's all I have to say about the first two episodes of Drag Race, because it was a double episode premiere, not to mention Untucked. I felt like I was watching Drag Race all day, which is not a bad thing. Anyways, if you want to hear more about this, make sure you subscribe and like the video. And, you know, so you want to keep up and know when I'm going to be uploading well, it'll be every week. It'll be every Wednesday. It's always Wednesday. That's something weird happens. You understand? But we're going to be reviewing all season 15. And I'm so glad to have you here with me. And, um, yeah, come follow me on all my other social media. And, um, stay draggy. Cat, cat, da, 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 da. Cat, 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 cat. Bye.